I've marked the solvent front on here, so you can see where the little pencil line is, so you can see where, where the solvent climbed up to. And I'm now going to hang this on the washing line in this food cupboard in order to let it dry. Okay, so it's going to dry there for a little bit. Okay, so the chromatogram is dry now, the solvent's all evaporated off. But I can't see any spots on this because I need to develop it with this stuff, which is ninhydrin. So that's something that we use specifically to help develop these amino acid um, spots on a chromatogram. So I need to spray it with the ninhydrin spray and then I've got to warm it up using a hairdryer, plant head, um, to get the colour to develop and it should come up with sort of perfectly coloured spots. to blow the head on it to heat it. Stop. Stop you can stop there. Okay, so I've sprayed it with an anhydrin and you can see those purple spots that have developed on pretty much all of these. The cysteine looks like it hasn't done anything. I don't know why I haven't done that. Maybe there wasn't very much in the solution in the first place, but that's, that's very disappointing. But the others have got purple spots on them. Now I need to fix them with a fixative spray. So the details of that are on the worksheet. Um, and I've got to expose it to ammonia as well. And ammonia is at the back of the fume cupboard and I can smell it really badly already, but I can't put the fume cupboard on because it's so noisy. So I'm just going to trim this down so it can get closer to the ammonia solution in a minute. Right, I'm going to spray it with this fixative spray. to the ammonia fumes and pop back and look at it again in a minute. 